Don't mind me, just shooting a vlog up here. Sorry, I'll be too sorry. They were from Fools Crossed as well. <laughs> Whoa, work it, girl. <laughs> Chill it. Hi. So let me sort my let me let me sort my extremely long quarantine hair out because we've been in quarantine now for I think it's been a, like four to five weeks. So it's 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 getting tough. So today's obviously the fourteenth of April. It's Tuesday. Um, haven't been on the channel in a while. I think the last video was us in Disney World. Some I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> um, and I was discussing with Elliot. I was like, what what would be fun for? Because we're bored out of our minds, as I'm sure you are if you're watching this right now. This idea I had is that we go to. I saw a healthy junk food do it, and basically they went to the supermarket and they got like ten frozen pizzas, like ten different frozen pizzas, and then they like rank them from one to zero, uh, one to ten. And whilst that sounds really dull and boring, it was actually really interesting to watch. Now you're probably thinking, that's not very essential travel. We've actually got other things that the household need because I don't think anyone's been shopping for about two weeks now. So we are being sent out. Hey, whoa, this is already open. <laughs> this is actually the earliest I've been up in a while. Um, half 12. Whoa, cracking the flags out here today. The roads are dead. <laughs> um, on our way to Tesco's though, So first things first, though, we need to take precautionary steps. Uh, so we've got some gloves. Gonna lap, lap those on. Uh, got my carrier bags because obviously, you know, you need to uh, <laughs> M&S carry bags in a Tesco's car park. I don't give a damn. Um, so we've got a few um, essentials to get and then lots of pizza to pick up. Um, but uh, I'll see you inside the queues, but I, I can't estimate. It's going pretty quick, but I could be there for about 20 minutes. So. See you later. Strange experience. Anyway, I got all the pizza, the different varieties of pizza that I could find there in the frozen aisle. Um, there wasn't as many as I thought there would be. No, but like double down on some brands like Goodfellas in Chicago. Yeah, because the, the video I watched with Healthy Junk Food is they had different brands and they all, every pizza was pepperoni, so I've tried to stick to that as much as possible. Um, but, you know, whilst trying to get as many brands as possible. So, um, We've got a Hearty Food Co, we've got Chicago Time Deep Dish. We've got your Tesco Zone brand, uh, Stone Baked Fin yeah. Pepperoni. We've got rest Ristorante, Ristorante. Yeah, this is your bread and butter of uh, frozen uh, pizzas, isn't we've it? Got your, we've got your, your Chicago Town stuffed crust, now this is like the pinnacle. And uh, Goodfellas Vegan Falafel Pizza. And a Goodfellas Original Fin Crust. So we've got lots to go off, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna cut the pizzas, we're gonna bring them out one by one, and then we're gonna rank each of us, Elliot and I, are gonna rank our favourite and the least favourite. Yeah, so that you know when you go to Tesco's next time. Well, you can have a look yeah. and... You know uh, which one to grab? So, this is obviously a different format of pizza. This is the Chicago Down Deep Dish Mega Meaty. It's the size of a hand. It's the size of a hand. I think usually you wouldn't just eat one, you'd go for two, I think, maybe even more. So, um, we're gonna throw this in the oven. We'll probably just have half each to trial. This actually might come out on top for me personally. It's so good when you yeah, get it, when you get it it's right. A, it's a meal in its own, it's yeah. all packaged. You don't wanna it. microwave this though, just bear in mind. These were for two packs, they, well, two, for two pizzas, it was two pound 10, uh, just if you're looking at price. So. I'm really hungry. Yeah, here we go, I'm eating all day. Hmm. There's like a, there's like an instant weird spice, like pepper. Quite typical, I think, with these. Other pizzas, yeah. So, like, because it's quite deep, this is really doughy, but actually this is quite crispy, like out the crust here. It's really doughy, I think it's undercooked on the bottom, but... Yeah. That is so good. <laughs> An equivalent to like a cheeseburger, if you hold it, if you held it, sorry. 
Yeah, can you hear that? Huh. Anyway, top of my legs. Let's go and top of this for me. Yeah, top of my list as well. You get like the burn bits of meat simple times and they're quite nice. I don't know. Great to get hung over, I think. Yeah. Next. This one looks absolutely tragic. I don't know actually, it looks like a fun little snack. So this is obviously the um, the hearty food coat and I think this might come in at cheapest on the list, I'm not too sure yet. Um, yeah, not many ingredients used on this one. The this, cheese is... This, this is your bare bone basics. Should have a look at the bottom of it because I did notice it. It's had that, it has that like... Uh, I think it's to let the air out. Yeah, something. Um, anyway, we'll stick this in the oven and see how it looks. This is one, tiny. Yeah, this was £1.70 and you got four mini ones. Now, the reason the, the first two that we're doing are the small ones because they're cooking way quicker than the others. Although they look <laughs> undercooked. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think these cook properly though. Just, I think that's just their style. This is shit. This is the sort of pizza you go to like a garden centre and you pay like a five or four and they make they blitz it in the microwave and they bring it out to you. It's so shit. Yeah. I can't begin to explain how much this tastes like Play-Doh. Joe, I don't know if I can get a good shot, but it's like... It's, it's like, like a, it's like bread, it's like a sandwich it's like bread. It's like undercut. Yeah, it's like a kid's menu pizza. Oh uh, yeah, it was like a Chuck E. Cheese, no, worse. It's like, you've been to the fun barn and they've offered you pizza and this is what you've got. Yeah, they don't do anything, they don't do that sort of thing. Laser either. blast slice. Okay, so, um, it's a no for me. <laughs> yeah, that's dead last for me. Yeah, so it's gotta go bottom of my list, there's hard yeah. food. And going. I don't think it will, yeah, well, it's gonna go bottom. I, I can't see any of these other pizzas. No, 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 no. This is bottom tier, this, this just barely makes a list for me. So, next pizza. This Goodfellas pizza, the pepperoni is quite well distributed. This actually looks good, considering it's frozen. To be honest with you, I think the other pieces we're going to see aren't going to look as pretty as this. So that goes in the oven. This is looking depressing. Goodfellas classic crust, I agree. It's looking a bit drab. All the colours have been sucked out of it. It's just turned into like one. Yeah, the cheese as well is... I hate burnt cheese. I don't understand why people like burnt cheese. It's not even burnt cheese. It's like it has this own... I don't know. But one thing I will say about the crust is it's got a good snap to it. Ish. Um, yeah, yeah, it's got a good snap, snap to it. Although there is a lot of crust. There's a lot going on as well, isn't there? Oh, it's dairy. That's, it looks like it's cooked on the bottom. It's going for our first bite. You're not a massive fan of pepperoni. No, it's not. No, I actually disagree. It doesn't taste of pepperoni at all. It actually doesn't taste of anything. It's awful. This has got nothing to it. It's very greasy. I think that's yeah. the key here. Now, what, what did this one cost? Um, it's £2.63. I think that was on a deal, though. Once again, I'm having issues with the... Um, the crust is so chewy. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan, personally. I don't know what you think, but um, I'm not a fan. I'm working hard to get through this crust. Yeah, I'm going to try the crust. I'm going to get in on that. It's very, it looks quite airy, actually, the crust. There's a lot of, I don't know. Mm. Hang on, it's a big chew. I just, I'm literally working hard for this. It's a big chew. Pizzas. You're not finishing your dinner and going back and thinking, mm, that was tasty. But you're thinking, fuck me, my jaw. Yeah. There's a bit of flavor to that crust, actually, when you get when you get through the, the thick of it, which is a lot. So let's give these guys a rank now. So I'm actually gonna stick that in, it's like middle of the table for me. Maybe just towards the end, so, like not last and not second last, but just above that. See, I think, I personally think, considering this is the Goodfellas pizza, I think that the vegan one will be second last. Nothing is coming close to that half foods. Yeah. <laughs> Same position as me in the, not last, not second last, but just above that, third last. Third last, yeah. Yeah, it good. Was, Good. It just doesn't have that much taste to it. And like I said, fucking hard work to get through that one. Yeah, didn't enjoy that. This here is the um, Ristorante, or whatever you call it. Um, I don't speak uh, Italian. <laughs> Quite basic. Uh, if you go to a petrol station, you get a restaurant. You're always going to find this. I like that, that it's gone right to the, the end, the edge there. Yeah, I'm sure and, we'll... I'm sure we'll uh... And you've got a medley of pepperoni and salami, I believe. Yep, this was at a total price of... 2.63. Was it? Yeah, risk. Yeah, two, two pounds 63 pence. As you've seen, it's, it's thin base, really not cooked that well. Super crispy, ready? Let's get into this one. Yeah, chuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a fold. I'm gonna go normal again. first. Just like... Oh. Mm -hmm. Um... Pretty much all of the topping came off my pizza there. Yeah, it's, it's not very, um... But the base is like a... It's like 
I can't explain it, it's like a cracker. The base and the toppings are completely different entities. There's, there, there's no, um, there's no, there's no connection. No, there's no um, emulsion, if that's the right word. There's no, um, uh, <laughs> concludes, uh, no, 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 um, um, what is it called? Um, the bond is weak. No, it's not chemical. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know there's, no, there's no chemical bond there. No. It's, it's. Imagine you've got the toppings, you've got the base of the pizza. It's literally sellotape on with the yeah, back of it. Sellotape like, like layer. You know, they'll just peel off. But uh, crust, let's try that out. Yeah. Crust is that? It's always that. And the good thing about these pizzas is, you haven't really got a crust. It goes right to the edge. The amount of times, and you might relate here, I sat at my desk in my bedroom at uni. Eating a restaurant. I had a seriously sad one of these. Yeah, a restaurant to pizza. I actually think I prefer the chicken and herb one. Every time I thought this is rock bottom. But you can only hit rock bottom yeah. so, so many times. Okay. Elliot, where would you rank that? So you've got your, your, wow. your deep dish at the top, yep. your Chicago town, mini pizzas, and then you've got those hearty food co mini pizzas at the bottom, which were horrendous. For me, I, I'm trying to get keep emotion out of this one because obviously I have a soft spot for restaurants and pizzas. Yeah. Because you can get them in like Spain and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They have them they, when you're they, away. They, they do have. They have emotional but, attachment to. Yeah, yeah. Like great wide. But for me, I just think there's better pizzas out there, so I'm gonna sit them in third. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I rate this highly, like really highly. Yeah. For frozen pizza, it's the hallmark of class. Yeah. I'm gonna stick that just under deep dish, I think. Wow. In second place. Wow. Wow! Next pizza! <laughs> Tesco's Stone Baked Finn Double Pepperoni Pizza. So, okay, similar to the Restaurante, we've got like um, uh, a couple of varying sizes of pepperoni here. It looks quite small. It doesn't go right to the, the crust like the other one does, but it does look pretty good actually. I'll give them that. So this was £1.58. Um, bargain. Bargain, yeah. I, I think and then again, I say bargain, it is like half the size. If you really think about it all. £1.50 is tiny. I think it's a personal size pizza. Oh, that's, that is a snap. This has like, got a serious snap in it. Ready? Yeah. Also, the base is not like It's like a two, it's like a two thing. It's really like one of those pizzas that uh, just don't cook. Ready? Right. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Chewy, salty. Quite salty, isn't it? Very salty. A bit oily. Pizza, the, the, the sauce tastes nothing. No. no. Yeah, this might. This is tragic. This has gone worse than I thought about it. Yeah. I mean, the only saving grace is that crust just snaps. It's like a I don't think it's crust. It's its own party trick, isn't it? Yeah. It just breaks on command. Um. Send us straight to the back of the mouth. <laughs> you don't want to be dealing with that up front. Just crust. shattering in your mouth. I think when you weigh up the price of it, £1.58. No, I just think it's so below par. Think about it, you spend an extra pound and you can get yourself one of those restaurant pizzas or I suppose. Those, two of those deep dish and really they, they the pack crust, them tight. The crust is really nice though. <laughs> you bring this over to the party. Well, yeah, you know, what is this shit? But it is a frozen pizza, we can't forget those things. No, it is a frozen pizza. Not the best Where are you putting Tasco's pizza? I'm actually putting it second last. Okay. Now it's got Tesco's in the second last bin. Yeah. So there might be a real reshuffle for you. Mm, yeah. Come the next wave. Trust pizza. me, it's stressing me out. I am gonna actually stick it on top of Goodfellas. I'll tell you why. Whoa! Because <laughs> that <laughs> wasn't in the joke of my pizza shop. <laughs> yeah, I know what, you, what you're doing, sticking the own brand Tesco's pizza that high up is gonna get a nosebleed. <laughs> the reason I've done that is because I thought the Goodfellas wasn't an, an enjoyable experience. Whilst there was a tiny bit more flavour there, I didn't enjoy I got I actually want to know what's in your mind because I can't see how you thought this was an enjoyable experience. Because it's I'm all about like snap in the pizza yeah, crust and it's and, dust. And we didn't have It's <laughs> dust. We didn't have that though, so I'm gonna put them just above the Goodfellas. I've got no time for that pizza. Right. <laughs> I'm starting to give fucking party food club a little second look in. So this is the most interesting pizza, I think. Now this has the slight disadvantage that there's more, this is the vegan falafel one. This has the advantage that there's actually more going on potentially, but at the same time, maybe the sacrifice is being made, for example, in the dough and on the... Yeah, they packed it tight. They've really packed it tight. I mean, look, there's a lot going on. It's quite expensive though, I think. Look at that, there's a bit of a mountain going on there. Second pizza on the block. Second? 
Like the six, Sorry, the six, six, six pizza on the box is the Goodfellas vegan pizza, yeah. falafel. As you can see in this B-roll, it snaps like you would not believe. Um, it's almost like one of those um, tart things you get with desserts, you know, they just crumble. It's got a strange smell about it. I mean, look at the state of that. It's six, uh, £3.68, which is actually our second most expensive pizza today. It smells vegan. You have that vegan price tag though, like that. How much is it? That vegan label, three pounds sixty-eight for a pizza that's not even a pizza. For pizza, what's this? I'm scared to. No, what's mine? Yeah, oh, that's crazy. That's what you want though. Is it? I mean, there's no moisture in the base, but that's to be expected. Huh? Oh. Wow, there's actually a lot of flavour going on there. Mm. I was vegetarian for a couple of weeks, and I just got the vibe that every food tastes like this. I don't know what it is they put on there, mm. but everything tastes like this. Oh, sorry. It's an experience in its own, to be fair. Like, you feel a bit grim after every slice you eat. Yeah, like... very greasy. There's actually a lack of moisture in this one. It's kind of nice. I bet you the calorie count's not bad, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still an 800 pound um, piece food. of calorie. 800 calorie piece of food. Where would you rank this? I mean, obviously, it's coming in as the, the new kid on the block, if you will. Now, I'm going to put it below the restaurant here, Peter. Whoa, okay, third place. Fourth, actually. I've left my second place open for the big grand prize. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down my Tesco's and Goodfella down to second last and third last. I'm actually going to stick the vegan just above the Tesco pizza. So fourth as well? Um, yeah, fourth as well. Um, I'm happy with that. Okay, yeah. last pizza. Cool. Okay, so here we've got the Chicago Town stuffed crust. Now this is obviously crust innovation, next level. There's there's a filling, as you can see, oh, yeah. tucked away inside this crust. Now this looks like the superhero of all pizzas this here. This is. I think this is going to be the most expensive pizza we got today. Most excited for this one, I think. I'm most excited for this one as well. Um, so we'll stick that in the oven and see what it's like. The seventh and last on the pizza plate. Last pizza. This is the Chicago Town stuffed crust, pepperoni, everything going on on this yeah. pizza. <laughs> It is coming in at four pound twenty, so that's actually quite expensive yeah. in my just in my eyes it's when it comes to, when it comes to frozen pizza. That is actually really good. The pepperoni is great quality. It's very greasy. Yeah, it's very greasy. That is my only downside. But going, coming from that vegan pizza, which you know, I'm giving World it a second. I'm giving it a second look. That, that, that <laughs> vegan pizza. Hmm, it's quite good. Sometimes the, the sauce they put in these crusts is just way too acidic. Mm. Um, I get it. Goodbye. Very sugary. Yeah. That's good though. Like they want you to know it's there. <laughs> that is good though. This has got it all going on for me. I'd rather me. go hungry. No. But... Don't get me wrong. I think the innovation back in the early 2000s for stuffed crust, life changing. This is obviously maybe outdated technology in the pizza world, a stuffed crust. Relics of the American, you know, explosion yeah. into the English food market. I mean, look at this. Maybe. There's a lot of bread going on. Where are you putting it on your scale? It's going over the top. I'm going to move the vegan pizza. No. And the restaurant to be No. Up. And I'm putting this at four. The Chicago Town. Yeah. Chicago Town's going top of my list. That's a world class pizza, in my opinion. Just, okay. So that's a wrap on the pizza review thing. <laughs> I hope we help make your decision. Did the homework. We'll maybe do a video tomorrow. We'll see how this one goes. Please, if you actually enjoyed it, give it a like because that's a good indication for us that you've enjoyed it. That's been today's vid. We'll see you. Stay safe. Stay home. <laughs>